We're going to go to the lowest level, and we're going to go to an interior room. You learn something, and you practice it, and it's okay. It does well. At Columbia's Paxton Keeley Elementary School, Mrs. Aguilar's fifth grade class is about to practice responding to a scenario that no teacher wants to encounter in real life. Students, please move to your severe weather location. The children know that the school's safety plan calls for all students on the second floor to exit their classrooms, to stay together, to calmly walk down the stairs. These are life-saving skills that you're learning today. And in the case of this class, to file into the first floor media room, a room with no windows and all the walls are interior walls. Protect what you can't do without. You can't do without your head. We don't want to be any place that has exterior windows, exterior walls, large spans like a gymnasium. Wouldn't necessarily be a very good choice. Is everybody doing okay? Windows are avoided not just because of shattering glass, but because 200 mile an hour winds can turn ordinary objects into missiles. These projectiles can also penetrate walls. The idea is to put as many walls as possible between the children and the tornado. Good job. Auditoriums, gymnasiums, and other areas with expansive roofs are avoided because they are more vulnerable and could collapse. The children remain on their hands and knees, covering their heads and necks until given the all clear. As an alternative to using the first floor media room, after all other students had evacuated the second floor, Mrs. Aguilar's students could have taken cover in the interior stairwell. Again, there are no windows and no exterior walls. And it's super because interior, stairwell, it's also a fire stairwell, so it's very secure. The school had not sheltered in stairwells before, but reevaluated its plan after the 2011 Joplin EF5 tornado. We're a school of 700, so we were thinking, do we have better locations? And so we've been looking at our interior stairwells as a location that we can use instead of some rooms that had windows. The training is designed to inform and to reassure the children. I learned that you should always go to a room in the center of the building and to make sure you cover your head and neck. If you don't know this stuff, then you could get hurt during a real tornado, and so that's why it's important to practice. The children have learned an important lesson in being storm aware.